Any luck uh, finding out about your parents? No, man, just one dead end after another. You know, I'm starting to believe I'm never going to get the skinny on who my real folks are. You know, I think I know what I'm going to get Chad for wedding gift. What's that, water polo lessons? <laughs> no, I'm going to use crane detectives. I'm going to find out who his parents are. I'm going to have him surprise him at his wedding. No, Ethan, uh, I wouldn't do that. Fox, cut it out. You got you to get a back off of this. I know you have feelings for her, but you got to accept the fact she, that she is going to marry Chad. Don't press your talks just yet. A lot can happen before the wedding night. Bro, if you think that your lame idea about getting Chad not to have sex with Whitney until their wedding night can make her run and come to you for it, you can forget about it. Whitney is not that kind of girl, all right? And as far as me not finding out who Chad's parents are, what the hell does that have to do with Whitney? Trust me, Ethan, what I'm doing is for Whitney's own good. I don't mean to upset you, bro, but, um, sounds like it's more for your own good, not Whitney's. If you knew the truth, Ethan, you'd know exactly why I was doing this for Whitney. Hey. I'm, uh, sorry for going off earlier on you. I mean, we're just finally getting along. I want to keep it that way, okay? Yeah, me too. I know it's hard watching Whitney and Chad together. I mean, what man wants to see the woman that he loves marry a friend that he loves like a brother? I do think of Chad as a brother. Yeah. I'll be careful. You don't want this to blow up in your face, Fox. It's not my face this whole thing's gonna blow up in. If Whitney hates her mom now, she'll flip out when she finds out that the man she plans to marry is her mom and my dad's son.